Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain why you might want to reconsider one of these, which is just a VR headset that uh, is used to hold your cell phone, be it an Apple or an Android. This one's an Android, it doesn't make any difference. They're very popular, they're not expensive, and they're made from reputable companies. Shinecom has a, great, has a good one, a very popular one. Panasite also has one, and this one's from Picoso. And the actual products themselves are pretty good. The problem isn't the quality of the product, although there are some problems with those as well, but not with the three I just mentioned, they're pretty good. The problem is with the category. A few years ago, I started out with VR using Samsung Gear VR, which was great. It tied right into the Oculus store, great product. Unfortunately, they discontinued it. Apparently, they just couldn't get the product to not overheat. Well, you couldn't get your phone to not overheat while it was in these chassis. And so eventually they just gave up on it about 2012, 2013, something like that. Then I moved on to some Oculus products and those are pretty good too. No real issues there. The problem is with uh, devices like your phone uh, that are not purpose built for this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, unbox this and give you a quick review of it, and I mean fast. And then we're gonna go and show you how to run software on it, which is really the problem. Uh, that you, it's difficult to get software to run on these things, at least it, with the quality and ease that you would expect. So like I said, this is not the video I thought uh, we would be making. I thought we were going to be reviewing this product, the VR Picoso Virtual Reality Glasses, but it sort of spiraled down. The first thing we'll do is just show you the box because there might be something on there that you actually care about, although I doubt it. And you can see that this box is a little bit beat up which, you know, I'm not too happy about from Amazon, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's get to opening this up. And uh, as we go, I'll explain that we're going to test this with both a Samsung S9, which is old, and a Samsung S22, which is well, my personal current phone. This came in at about uh, $35 US, about $40 Canadian. Uh, but I just bought another one, brand new as well, not a refurb, for, from Amazon again. Uh, for $29, not being marked on sale, and that's a Canadian price, so let's call it for easy math, $25 US. Very reasonable. Okay, now before we actually get into the review, let's explain why we chose this one blindly over the other ones. And the answer is it wasn't so blind. The first thing was, uh, I really wanted something with a uh, nice padding around here, something that looked like it would, felt like it would, well, looked like it would seal around my face, uh, and something with soft that wouldn't get too you know, problematic over time. That's the first thing. The second thing was, I wanted something where the phone uh, just pops in, and this does. A little foam pad here that's going to, and spring, a little plastic spring-loaded piece that's going to hold the phone in. Uh, I didn't want one of the ones that slides in because I wanted to see the mechanism inside in case there's a problem because there's gonna be a problem over time. And another thing was, I didn't want one with the ear pieces. You might look at that and think, well, without the ear piece, it's not going to be very nice. Well, actually quite the opposite. Uh, the ones that uh, have a jack that plugs in to your phone and then carry the sound out to your uh, to the, the, the speakers that are on it, the earphones, uh, they, I, I've found them to be problematic. They sort of pinch my ears or they get sweaty or whatever. I just don't like them. And your phone's gonna put out enough audio, it'll be fine. Another thing from experience, because I've had a few of these over the years, is uh, I wanted a headset that had this head, this top strap. Now, uh, you don't always need the top strap, and if you don't, take it off. But I did want one that shipped with it because uh, I know from past experience that these will slide around a bit over time and it's not a bad idea to have the strap on top. But like I said, if it bothers you, just take it off. Yeah, that feels comfortable. I only have a little bit of light coming in and that's by design, it's not accidental. So that's a good thing. This doesn't feel too hard. Okay, that's wonderful. All right, so now you've got your headset out of the box. What do you do with it? Well, not rocket science. Go to your store, Apple or Android in my case. The first thing you want to do is probably install Google Cardboard. And that's just a control center for these phone-based systems. Just type in Google Cardboard or just the word cardboard. And you can see it's the cardboard icon. In case you're wondering why it's called cardboard, it's because Google used to have a product that was literally made of cardboard that you could use for virtual reality. Anyway, it's discontinued, don't worry about it. Now you use these headsets like the one we're showing today. Click install, I have already done that. Now we need to go back to the store and find 
VR apps. So just type in VR. Within is a great place for uh, free movies that are uh, VR. So I would select getting uh, Within VR. And what you have to do is click uh, Install in a game. It will populate right into Google Cardboard after you've got it installed. Anything with this little cardboard icon is probably your friend. So let's go into this educational in mind. I've never even heard of this one before. Let's click install. And Froggy uh, is another one that you can play. I've already done the install here. Great little game. So let's click play on this one. And it wants access to my device location. I don't think it needs that. I'm going to say don't allow. I don't think it needs access to any of my device uh, things either. So I'm going to say no. Hmm, and I see this one's crashed. That's nice. Well, that's annoying. Let's go into Google Cardboard and see what I have already installed. There it is, Cardboard. And uh, within, this is a great little thing. So let's go to uh, this first. Now, what you'll notice is missing here, and it's a big deal to me, is Netflix VR. Netflix and virtual reality is great. I've used it lots of times, uh, but it doesn't work on cardboard. Uh, and that means it's not gonna work very well on these headsets. Yes, there's a way around it. You download an app on your PC and on your phone uh, that uh, mirrors them, and then you can run Netflix VR on your computer, which then gets mirrored out to your phone, and bingo, you're on your way. That's a pain. I'm not doing that. Let's go take a look at Within. No registration, no activation just works. Let's click on this send me home video and I'm going to click stream because I don't want to download it and I want to view this on my Google headset. Well, this is not a Google headset, but I want to view it in virtual reality and you can see here, there it is. It's going to look around. That's pretty cool, huh? So what do I think of the Picoso VR headset? Well, I think it's dramatically better than Google Cardboard, the actual old cardboard you used to get, but it really doesn't hold a candle to an Oculus product or to Samsung Gear VR, which was uh, a really nice product that Samsung made, very much the same as this, uh, but it had controls on the side so you could, you know, click enter or yes or whatever. Uh, it was just a nice product. So compared to other VR headset goggles, how does this do? Well, in the, you know, the sub $50 range, the sub $70 range, these, this little plastic holder is great. There's no issue with that at all. Is it good enough for me? No, I'm sending it back. Without being able to easily play Netflix uh, VR, which is really my primary use case for this, because I just want to chill out and turn everything off, there isn't much value for me in this. Uh, if you just want to play games and goof around, it's really good. Like, it's just fine for that stuff. You know, I mean, as far as you know, basic stuff goes. Uh, and again, it's not a knock against the product. The product itself is very good. The issue I have is with the overall concept. Uh, trying to convert your phone into a virtual reality kit, yeah, it's just not, uh, it's just not great right now. And to be honest, I'm a bit surprised about that because the Gear VR was so good. At least for me, I loved it. I had two of them from each of their generations and it was awesome. Anyway, you won't confuse this or any of these other units with uh, a Gear VR uh, type headset and you certainly won't uh, you know, confuse it with anything from uh, Oculus. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. It's very helpful with Google algorithms. Uh, subscribe is also appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us, you can always do so at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. That's that. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.